not everything ends with a, a, a great story or a, a fairy tale ending or the big Super Bowl trophy or all that. Most times that's what people get in life. Even though sometimes there's defeat at the end of it, it doesn't stop you from trying and just keep going and doing the best you can. And it's crazy now to see how far Keep Pounding has come. I mean, for me, Sam Mills and even Mark Fields with battling cancer and what that meant to the team, that was always in the back of our minds as the season went on, how they're battling every single day, especially Sam Mills and what he was going through, uh, still showing up for work, still doing everything he can to coach up those linebackers. And he got in front of us as a team uh, talking to us and really just pouring his heart out, talking about you got to you know just keep working, keep grinding, keep doing everything, keep pounding. Just keep pounding, good things will happen. And, and I think part of that, you know, because we also had, you know, John Richardson, um, you know, the, the owner that was, you know, fighting too, and then Mark Fields, and so then you had Sam. So it was like you had all these personal battles that were going on outside of this football deal. It was just one of those special moments that I think is really cool that it wasn't, it wasn't a hashtag at that time. Right. It wasn't something that we put on Instagram. This was something that was organic and it was real and it was genuine, and it meant something then, and it means something now. And I think that when guys get drafted to this day, and they're saying keep pounding, they might know not exactly where it came from and why, but they know that it means something. So Jackie came out with those shirts, remember? Mm -hmm. And they had the 51, 51 and 58 yep. on, on the shirts. Man, we, we wore those shirts with pride, and then it gave us a little bit of inspiration, motivation there. Not that you needed any extra, but it did sort of symbolize something for us at the time. When he realized he had cancer, they gave him three months. And at that point, when, he, when the doc gives you three months, everything went through his mind and his emotions were, you know, everywhere. And he figures, I'm gone, I got three months to live. And he said that Tampa game changed his life. Snap, kick block, is that blocked? Pick it up. Because he said that we could have just gave up. It was a chip shot, it's an extra point, it's game over. But we didn't quit, defense didn't quit. Defensive line ended up blocking the extra point, we win the game. He said it was that moment was when he said, I'm not gonna quit. He said, you think I'm an inspiration? He goes, you guys inspired me. Yeah. Man. He goes, and that's why I continue to keep pounding. I played with Sam too, being able to see him as a player and then as a coach, the intensity that he would bring um, in that atmosphere, right? He was, I mean, he, he joked, but he was serious. When it was time to hit the field, it was, it was business. He brought this intensity as a player and then as a coach. And he was inspiring no matter what he did. He didn't talk a lot. No. He didn't say a lot. It was how he worked. He just came and showed up and just worked his tail off. I remember uh, just watching him give that speech and you knew because he was a man of so little words that, man, this meant something. And wearing those numbers on our chest, that. We, we fought all year. We talked about it, you know, all evening here about how hard we worked to prove something. I think that gave us the laser focus that we needed to push us all the way to Houston. We really, I really went out thinking if I could gift this to Sam, like that, that would be something. And I think we all thought that if we're going to wear this on our chest, close to our hearts and gift Sam something when he's here with us every day, how special would that be? I think that took us all the way to Houston.